Hey Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really low ground level floating deck for the front of our house. Our entryway used to not have anything whatsoever, so you'd walk out the front door down about 12 inches onto the sidewalk and it was just really awkward. So I decided to build a proper entryway for it. Now I've never built anything like this before and I was kind of learning as I went, but it turned out to be a really cool project, so check it out. Okay, I kind of drew it on my uh, bacon notebook paper here, but anyway, you can see the layout right there. I got a joist at 9 inches and 25 and 41, so I decided to put my footing at 12 inches and then dead center at 65 and then 12 inches from that edge too. And this is how I'm going to lay out the deck here. So I like to have a drawing so that uh, I know exactly what to do. So then all the work just becomes kind of, you know, mindless in a way. You just dig until you know exactly where you need to be. So the other thing is I've... Uh, did a little research and I found that our frost line around here is 24 inches so I'm digging a little deeper than that I decided to go to 36 inches down I don't know if that's overkill or not but I decided I'd rather be safe than sorry and then like I said I uh, to find the spots I drove stakes in there they were a little off center so I drew it or I, I dropped in that little rock dead center and then I have these 8 inch cardboard tubes that I'm going to fill up with concrete to actually make the footings so I just dropped it over my marks and then I spray painted around the very bottom edge and it made a perfect circle. Then when I'm taking my post hole digger, I'm actually digging away just to the very outside edge of that white and it'll leave about an inch to two inch ring so that I can actually shift it around to get it exactly where I want and I'll just fill it with gravel on the outside and then put concrete on the inside. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm digging up and uh, it's a lot of hard work. I forgot how hard digging post holes was but it's kind of fun but pretty difficult. The other thing is I broke my shovel, so I had to get a new one of them before I could move these piles of dirt. I have no idea where I'm going to put them. But anyway, that's what I'm doing now. I'm finished digging the post holes, and I can actually start doing the concrete. Alright, I finally got all three holes dug out. And I cleared out the huge dirt piles, and I still have some more here, but that's okay. I think I dug a little deep, because that post back there is actually set to the right height, but that's okay, I can fix that later. One thing I want to do real quick, I want to show you, is that I had to do a quick drawing of what I'm doing. So you can see up top here, this little bar is going to be like my decking that goes across. That's an inch and a quarter thick. Then my 2 by 8s that will be my joist, are actually 7 and a half inches wide. And then uh, I decided that the beam that's going to go across all of these right here, I'm going to use two 2x6s two that are like sandwiched together in between this little brace. Those are actually 5.5 inches thick. And then my little metal bracket actually raises it off the concrete 1 inch. So when you add all those together, I get 15 and a quarter inches. So that means from this line down, my tube, the top of it needs to sit at 15 and a quarter inches. Okay, now another thing I did is I probably went a little overboard. This, this uh, deck here is probably a little overbuilt, but I saw a cool idea I wanted to try. I don't know if you can tell, but in this tube that I dug out here, this hole, I actually kind of flared out the bottom like a bell. Imagine a bell where it goes down and it flares out. What I'm going to do is uh, make a wider concrete footing for the bottom. So real quick, let me show you how I did that. All right, so here's the tubes I'm using to make my footings. It's an eight inch diameter and it's four foot tall right now. I don't have to cut it down. But to do that, drop it in the hole. And then I just took a measuring tape and measured from this line down 15 and a quarter inches. And that's what that line is right there that I drew, okay? So that's where the top of the um, concrete would be, the piers that I'm making. Now, I probably could just leave them that way, but because I decided to go a little overboard with this uh, idea just to try it out, what I've actually done is I've went down an additional four inches. You can see my little dashed line there, and I'm going to cut this off four inches shorter, so it's actually going to float. All right, so I'll just cut that uh, real quick with my um, circular saw, and then this thing will be almost ready to go. All right, once they're cut down, it'll look something like this. What I did next is I taped a garbage bag on the bottom. Now this is kind of weird, but I'll show you why. All right, whenever it gets filled up, the bottom will puff out. So it'll actually be kind of shaped like a belt. It'll puff out down at the bottom. It'll have a lot wider footing. And then, you know, it'll be, you know, the, the dirt hole will be shaped like this. 
so it'll fit in there a lot better so that if the ground does try to shift you know when it when it freezes and all that this thing isn't going to move as much now, i know this isn't a very big deck but i thought it was a cool idea i wanted to try out so now all you got to do is slip this down in there like that now you can see it's definitely too short so what i have to do is raise it up to the height and that's a little more difficult but basically just again measure from the string down 15 and a quarter and then get the top of this tube to sit there. Now, uh, probably should also notice that I um, kept the uncut edge up top, so it looks a little better. The, the one that I cut, I put at the bottom. That's why it's actually upside down, if you can see there. All right, so anyway, once it goes down, that bag will puff up, fill up with concrete. The concrete will actually seep down around the other sides, and then, uh, you know, it'll be a little, a little sturdier. So then to float it up, what I gotta do is build a couple of brackets, make sure it's all level and it holds up really strong and then I can start filling up with concrete. So that's what I did over here. Now it's a little bit jerry-rigged, but it should work fine. I actually just took a couple of boards and I put in a screw kind of like this and uh, just had to hold it up, make sure it was at 15 and a quarter to the very top lip here. And I screwed it in, I got a couple of wedges in there to make sure it's level. So that way I should be able to fold up with concrete and uh, get it up pretty good distance and then maybe start putting some gravel around the edge to keep it from shifting around and then finish it all the way and then I'll just level the very top with concrete and then once it starts to dry I got a little uh, six inch anchor bolt that's going to go in there it's basically just kind of a j-shaped bolt with a threaded end on it and I'm just going to shove it in there so I'll be able to uh, bolt my uh, plate on there later so anyway I got to set these other three and get them all level and I can start doing concrete and then also like I said I think I dug a little too deep but that's fine I can fill it back up with dirt and try to kind of level from the concrete and just go down and I want it to just kind of hit the bottom angle I want it to be at the front edge that way water will just run down this way but I can do all of that after this concrete is set so that's what I'm going to do next finish the others and then fill this up with concrete my first batch of concrete here I made a huge mistake and uh, for each 60 pound bag it needed uh, eight cups and this thing right here is four cups but I was imagining it as one cup so I put eight of these so I had four times too much water so this time I'll do it right I only need two of these mix it up real good and then we'll dump it in the tubes Alright, I gotta say I'm a total concrete newbie. I ended up going with the max amount of water the bag said, which was three and a half quarts. So that's three and a half of those plastic cupfuls I had. It seems kind of dry, but I'm guessing it's okay. I was imagining it being more, I don't know, wet mud, and this is more dry concrete, like I'd imagine, like damp dry concrete. So I guess I'll go with it, see what happens. Make sure it's all packed down there really good. I don't want any air pockets or anything like that. All right, so the second batch here, I put just a little more water than they recommended. And instead of like their max of three and a half quarts, this is about four quarts, which is a gallon. And this is more like I imagined. Definitely right on the edge of being too watery but i think it'll be fine the other thing i noticed is when i put all the concrete into my tube it moved on me a little bit it's still level but it shifted down about half an inch so i'm guessing my little uh, boards and screws in the cardboard tubes wasn't the best idea so i guess when i pour concrete i'm just gonna have to bring it up about a half inch higher than the tube and just kind of level it off then i think it'll be fine all right so i eventually got my tube all the way full of concrete and then I measured it and it ended up sinking down three quarters of an inch. That was a lot further than I thought it was going to be. So what I ended up doing was taking a cardboard tube and I duct taped it to the top. One of those leftover cutoffs I had from earlier. And I was able to put in enough concrete on top that it now measures exactly 15 and a quarter inches, which is exactly what I needed uh, for all the measurements I figured out. 
So now I just got to uh, let it dry, set up a while, and then I put my um, anchor bolt in there, a little J-shaped anchor bolt, but I think it might start sinking if I put it in right now, so I'll let it dry for a little bit. Also, I need to put gravel around the outside of the tube to help water drain quicker and also just keep it from shifting around. And then once it's totally set up, I'll rip the uh, cardboard off and then it should just be concrete on top. And then once I put the dirt in and all that, you should only see concrete anyway. So I'll start filling in the rest and then uh, go on from there. All right, so I finally got all the posts filled in. And of course that one I kind of screwed up. And then this one right here, I had to hand pack a little bit on top to get the right height, but it's fine. And by the time I got to the third, this one turned out perfect. So the last thing I got to do now is sink in the little anchors. It's pretty simple, it just goes in and I'll have it stick out about an inch. What's going to happen is it's going to help hold these brackets in. So I just got to make sure that that bracket will be centered right under the line. So I think I think I need to bring it back towards me just a little bit. But anyway, finally I can let those dry. Start filling in with gravel, some more dirt, and then start building this deck finally. I'm on my last one here, filling up with gravel that I stole from our driveway. And I'm just dumping it in there and then making sure it's packed in really good. And once it's up to the top, then I'm gonna take the dirt and kind of slope it back down. And I'll do that next. So there we go. It's not pretty, but it'll work. Pretty much got it all done. I got the dirt sloped down to the kind of front edge here, and then I put in all that broken concrete and the lava rock that I stole from the uh, landscaping over there to act as both a retaining wall for the deeper side of the dirt I dug over there and to also act as really fast drainage. So that hopefully the water will kind of roll over this dirt and then empty into there. And then all the stuff coming in from the yard will just immediately dump down through all that lava rock and everything. So now all I gotta do is uh, let the concrete uh, footings dry a little bit longer another day or two and I'll tear off some of the uh, cardboard around them especially this one and then I got to put my um, landscaping felt on here just to cover it all up and then I can actually start building the deck